Hello and welcome to Beer Tier, the German engineer. Today, we're back with Poly Bridge 2. And last time around, we completed Pine Mountains. Every single one of them under budget and unbreaking. That is wonderful, and I hope we can continue that in the glowing gorge. Gorge, is that how you say it? I assume so. So I think we're going to start with the very first one. It's called Unity. We have 16 levels to play to complete the Glowing Gorge. So let's see how that works out for us. And here we are. Level 2-01 Unity. Budget of 26,000 and we have two cars. Well, car and a pickup truck, I guess. All right, so we need to get to over here. So the first thing that we need, we might as well start over here. We will definitely need a straight through bridge. And we will definitely need a standard setup of triangles to hold all this stuff together. That should be pretty easy and straightforward. So we're just going to plop this stuff here in. It's uh, not exactly centered, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> uh, let's see. All of this here, wonderful. And now we need to get both of those here over. First the bottom one and then the top one. Okay, I think we need to work with springs here. This here of course needs to be a road. I'm now used to the controls of bridge constructor portal. <laughs> I need to get back into this game. <laughs> okay, so now we need to have something like um, this here. Definitely not that high, but that's just to start with. Something like this here. Let's get it all nice and straight here. More or less at least. That's probably still way, way too high. So let's immediately build it kind of like this here. Something like that. And then another very low one right here. Connect all this stuff here together. And just for the sake of testing it. Let's run the truck over. Is it holding? It is indeed. This one here. Not so much. So let's bring this one down and see if that helps when we bring them the middle up by one each. If the truck makes it over, also this little box car or whatever it is will make it over as well. Is it just straightforward too long? We may potentially have to make it out of steel, but potentially not all of it. So let's see, if I just make every other one out of steel instead of every one, Will that hold? Yeah, let's turn up the speed. Okay, still not. I may have to make everyone out of steel. That may have to happen. Let's see, something like this here, but then we should be able to bring it down quite drastically, I believe. I mean, steel is a hell of a lot stronger than wood. Let's try something like this here. And once again, as long as this truck here makes it, everything else should make it as well. Yeah, okay, that's better. <laughs> okay, so if we build a bridge that just kind of comes straight over, not like this, I need a road. Comes over kind of like straight, maybe three tiles long. Um, something like this here, maybe. And then we come up to here, build our triangles in once again. And I always start with the triangles, then I straighten them out and then give them a little bit of a nicer angle. Maybe something like this here. Uh, it's not going to work too far away. And I think we need a spring from here to there. And we're just going to leave it as it is because I am not entirely sure how the springs work in this game. We're just going to see what happens. <laughs> oh boxcar you are my friend aren't you but that's only top 35 percent so there's gotta be better solutions let's see what can we improve here can we do anything we should be able to make this here probably shorter let's take one more quick look at how it looks when this car here comes along i may not be get uh getting a hell of a lot shorter well, let's Take this node here, make this here a little bit smaller, this here a little bit smaller. Let's see if it still holds. 
Ah, barely doesn't. How about this here? That's not gonna do us any good. Oh, it does. Okay, well, it's apparently good enough. We brought it down by 300 bucks. Not a hell of a lot. Does it get us up in the ranks a little bit? I didn't save us a lot. What can I do over here? All the steel here costs us so much. Every piece of steel that I can get rid of should save us a bunch of money. So if I build only those two here out of wood, will that work? Nope. Not even remotely. Let me try around here a little bit and I will see what I can come up with. I found something. So when I make it much higher, it holds a lot more load. It costs us 16,486. So this here is actually a working design. It's here so you guys can see it. And all I did is make it as high as I can. And yeah, the boxcar is just going to go as it is. That's, that's fine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. It brings us into the top 17%. But let's see if I take this one thing here and bring it down by just a plop. Just so we can take a look what exactly the physics engine does with that. And it's happy. Let's see how far we can push it. I'm just going to go down one by one and see how low we can go. That is 16% right there. One further. I can't go one more further. I can go on this one here now further. Let's see what that looks like. Is that still going to hold? It is still going to hold. Barely. But it's holding nonetheless. Cool. Top 15%. <laughs> We're getting there. So what about this here? Now we're getting in really dangerous territory, aren't we? Ah, there it is. Okay, so that broke. So what if I bring these here back up and bring the outsides one more down? Does that work? It does indeed. Look at that. So can we push it another level? Oh, 14%. <laughs> What if I do this here? Now that's going to definitely kill it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that actually made it better, which actually makes sense because the stress can be nice and distributed over top 12%. Now I'm getting ambitious. Can I get top 10? Let's see, where can I move this here? I can move even further. We have it right there. We could potentially move it right here. Can I replicate that on the other side, though? That's the question. Is that a replication? I can't tell. I think it looks like it. No, it isn't really one, is it? More like this. Let's see. Ah, that was too much. Go over one. And that holds again. I see, it's just tiny little minuscule changes. Top 11%. Oh, come on. There got to be something else that we can do here. What about that? That should help us out a little bit. And then this here. What if we go down there too? The other question is, do I actually need a spring there? What if I don't have a spring there? How much is the spring? Let's see. 829 bucks. What if I put a piece of steel right there? That's probably not gonna work. I wouldn't have to have it here. That's more expensive. What about wood? Wood is not long enough. Oh, but from here it would be. But that's not gonna hold, is it? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna hold. It is holding. Easily even. And that should be top 10%. Top 7%. Wonderful. And that's how you optimize a bridge. <laughs> Oh, God, I did not expect that to happen in the first level, but I take it. Well, on to the next one. And right now, maybe a good moment to mention that only about 10% of you are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy the content, please consider to subscribe. I would highly appreciate it and it would help me out greatly. Thank you. And here we are in level 2-02 Long Drawbridge. We have first the fire truck, then hydraulics, then the ship, then hydraulics again, and then the little van in the back. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. Let's see. 
we definitely need a straight road over if you like it or not that has to happen one way or another and then let's see if i just start with my triangles let's just plop those in real quick okay so here's our first row of triangles that by itself is definitely not gonna hold the question is do we need what kind of hydraulics do we actually need so it definitely needs to split well it doesn't definitely have to split but probably on this one here it would make sense to split it right there in the middle what if i just build hydraulics up to here and hydraulics up to there what happens it falls together completely that makes sense i'm not surprised let's bring these here down actually and this one up as far as we can all along and this one here well not this one this one back down so it survived well actually the first one here broke well let's just match both sides up so they're the same that's always a good thing this one here yeah we need a better angle this one here needs a better angle and this one here as well what does this here look like it of course breaks when it gets into the middle because there's nothing there that's holding our bridge we could we have another anchor point here in the back Let's build over here with a steel. Build it like this and then bring a rope over to all the way to here. And then we're going to take this whole thing here and we're going to copy it. We're going to turn it, not turn it like this, turn it like this here. Dang it. <laughs> and plop it into there. That looked a lot better. That looked a hell of a lot better, actually. But why did it hold on one side, but not on the other? That is the big question. What's different over here? Did I mess up one of my connections here, maybe? No, these here looks look to be the same. I can just actually take this whole construct here, um, copy it, flip it horizontally, and check it out what it looks like. And it's almost the same. The only difference is this connection right here needs to be right there no that's not it how about right here let's see nope ah, it breaks every time right there what if i literally get rid of all of this here and i take all of this here and i literally copy it and then flip it and then plop it into there now it should be exactly equal that's probably the better way to go about it anyway but it still breaks though. Why? Why does it still break? And what can I do about it? I cannot really move these here around too much. Only if I move these here up, I can move all the these here up. Which should theoretically give it more stability. Let's see. Nope, does not. Hmm. What if I make this one, this single piece here out of steel? Just for testing purposes. That holds. Wait, what did just... Oh, oh that's what happened. <laughs> I told it to contract. So instead of contracting, let's expand it and move it upwards. Let's see what that does. Why does it break? I don't fully understand, quite honestly. It's like these here are still connected, but they're not. I told it that this here is the breaking point. There it is. The game just bugged. Wonderful. That looks good. Where are we at on this one? Top 66%. That is not really very nice though. It really, really isn't. I think we need to start from scratch here. So what if we try to go over the top without actually using the hydraulics at all? I have no idea. That might just be a horrible idea. But there's only one way to find out, isn't there? So we need to go like this. Right there. And then we just got to make it a little bit lower, as low as we can. Right there, maybe. Can we zoom in on that? Yeah. Just like that. And we then just got to fill it up with a road. So let's do that. <laughs> I love it when it does that. <laughs> and we're going to clear the tracer. So theoretically... 
theoretically that should work question is just how can we hold it up and only well, a couple of things that come to mind to for me at least you can start on the bottom kind of like this here once again it's not going to be a beauty at the beginning and then we just yeah instead of going all here uh, keep going on the bottom then here we're going to come out on the top and come back onto the bottom yeah something like that theoretically that should work so that's what it looks like so let me pretty that up a little bit and then we will take a look if that can potentially work i honestly don't know but there's only one way to find out right all right after a little bit of cleaning up that's what it looks like so let's click the button and just see what happens i mean we all know what's gonna happen but <laughs> let's do it anyway just for the fun of it but there are two things that we need we need to somehow hold it up here on the bottom and we need to somehow hold it up here on the top this here alone is not going to be enough so i'm going to build another triangle preferably not with a road though up to here and down to there and up to here and down to there and then we're going to connect these here together let's see if we can get it a little bit of a better shape here something like this that should potentially be a good idea let's see how that works out in practice and something like this on this side and then just for the sake of trying it let's put two pieces of steel in here even with two huge pieces of steel on the bottom it's still only at twenty-two thousand. but let's just run it and see what happens Ah, oh, I thought there literally for a second it's gonna make it. It did not make it. So you are breaking. Why are you breaking exactly? I don't know why you're breaking. What if I change this here? Uh, it's still breaking. What if I change it more? And give it a straight connection into there and this piece here. That should be a much better angle. Well, let's just see what happens yep better and cheaper stronger and cheaper and even aesthetically pleasing well not really the left side here is still kind of messed up where does that get us top seven percent once again apparently the top seven is is where we are at <laughs> well i'm pretty happy with the top seven it's not very 100 percent symmetrical but we are not really here to win a aesthetics prize. We are here to win an efficiency prize. And top 7% on this planet out of 143,000. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad in my book. So let's take a look at the next one. Low red. I clicked it away. Can I see it again? Thank you. Budget 58,000. Level 2-03. Low rider. We have a... Is that a stretch limo? <laughs> Could be a stretch limo, yeah. And a ship. Okay stretch limo and a ship so we can basically just build over the ship and oh we have this little star here we need to collect that star i believe yeah we don't have hydraulics so we don't have a choice but let's take out our little tool here once again our shape tool and give it this shape here and let's bring it over to yeah something like this here maybe Let's zoom in again to make sure we are pixel perfect. Well, not pixel perfect, but as good as we can potentially be. Just like this. And then over here, from here, we want to go up to there. But we want to be this way around. And we don't have to get the whole star. Just a tiny little piece of it should be enough, is my understanding. Let's fill that one up as well. And now we quote-unquote just have to make it a little bit nicer and uh change those angles here a little bit so the car can come nicely along here all right time to put in some triangles once again same thing as always i'm gonna put them in i'm gonna smooth them out and then uh we're gonna build the rest together okay so this is the smoothed out version of our bridge now i probably need some steel in here to to get the fun going question is how much steel uh, i'm gonna press it okay it's gonna immediately fall down so what if i put steel here and there okay so the middle still falls together so we need more steel that probably comes up to here and connects over to here and up to there and up to 
there and potentially as well. But that already holds it up. Really, Limo? Really? Is, is that necessary? You've got to be choking. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to make it? Come on. You got it. There you go. That's more like it. And, of course, here on the bottom, it's going to fail. But apparently, this angle here is slightly too steep for our stretch limo. How about that? Is that any better? Still not. Are you kidding me? Come on, stretch limo. Don't do this to me. I don't have much more wiggle room here, to be quite honest. How about that? Any better? Yeah, that's better. Does it still hold, though? Yeah, it still holds until we get over here. And we have 30,000 already. Okay. That is uh, suboptimal, to say the least. So what if we... On the bottom here. Here and here, holding it up. And, yeah, that's not gonna, gonna do as much good right there. Here and there. What is this perspective here? I just want to see what's happening. That's holding. Let's see where that puts us. It's not very good, though. Yeah, top 35. It's definitely something we got to do about this here. So what if I get rid of this connection? Will that make it collapse immediately? Because I don't think this is very nice. It actually has zero stress on it. Something is bracing it way too much. Oh, I click the next level. Yeah, we do not want to do that. Let me get to the world's menu and back to that bridge here. Here we are. So let's see. This one here can be made cheaper by putting a straight connection. And then here, maybe we don't need this one. How is that? I can't imagine that this here alone is going to hold it. I'm proven wrong once again. Maybe we don't need steel down there. What if I put instead of steel, is it even possible? Put a muscle in here. Oops. Muscle won't work without the connection in the middle. Can't work. I don't know if it will work like this in the first place. Again, no problem at all. Okay. So let's see. Top 27. What if I also make this here a muscle? Can I do that? Do I have enough length? I do not. But this over here potentially needs to stay steel. 33,205. What if I must... What if... What about this one here? Do I need that one? I may not need that one. What else can I get rid of? <laughs> I should start deleting stuff until it breaks. Down to top 24%. This here definitely can be like this. We may not need this one. And we may not need that one either. Uh... Hope it's still holding somehow. Down to 30,900. Brings us into the top 19. What else can we do? This one here. What about our actual bridge? This piece right here could be replaced. We are at 30,914. 30,914. The muscle is cheaper, even though it's barely, and it's not really a muscle. What's going on here? It's kind of shaky. How do I turn off my uh, grid like this? The muscle should look something like this here. It's cheaper by 200 bucks, but does it hold? That's the real question. It does. Okay. So if that holds and we're in the top 18, I have to try this one here. This one here, we know we can't get there. So let's just try it with steel because it's faster. What if I don't have anything there? I don't think that's going to hold, is it? It's still holding without an issue. You've got to be choking. What the hell is holding this bridge up? <laughs> it's just love and air at this point. Uh, let's put that one back in. We are 30,182. So let's muscle this one here. And we are still just barely cheaper. Let's try that out. I 
and it still holds like a champ. Slowly I'm running out of ideas what I can delete. <laughs> I really don't know. What if I make this whole construction here just lower and save money that way? Maybe that could work. Yeah, something like this here. How far can I push this thing before it just finally gives up? In my opinion, should have given up a long time ago, but... <laughs> it just keeps going. It literally just keeps going. Top 15%. What if I get rid of the steel here completely? No more steel. Only three muscles. <laughs> Who needs steel? Who needs steel? <laughs> and top 7%. There we are. Once again. I like it. That's good enough. Next level. Level 2-04. Bucky Bouncer. Budget 15k. Okay. And we need to bounce the buggy. What does that mean? What does that look like? Oh, the buggy's flying. Okay. Rope. Down to here. And then just have four pieces of road on there, maybe. Three, four. Let's see. My road is right there. It would hit it. If it would hold together, it would hit it, I believe. So let's just change this here and make it a kind of like a like a catching device. You know what I'm trying to say. Kind of like a bowl. Something like this here. Let's zoom in a little bit on that thing. Yeah, something like this here. Okay, cool. So we come over to here. Down to here. Down to here. Down to here and down to here. And since we are now in free building mode, I can just build the triangles directly. More or less decent. More or less. That is the key word here. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's not it. So instead of having one rope, maybe we need two ropes to actually hold it. I'm coming down to... Well, not two ropes. I still want one rope, but I want to be holding it here and there. Kind of like a crane. Ah, it missed it. Hmm. So this whole construct here, if I copy it, excluding this one rope on the top here, is that possible? Copy it and build it lower. And then get rid of the top version of it. And then our rope. Ah, okay. So that is not it either. Hmm. What can we do? Oh, because it's breaking immediately. So what if I... Yeah, I don't think this rope here... I think the rope needs to go actually to the bottom. Oh, there... Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was a good try though. Okay, so you just gotta change a couple things here. That was too much. Ah, that was not enough. And I think the whole construction may be maybe a little bit too far to the left. Let's try to optimize what we got. Why can I not optimize it? Come on, get up there. Something like this here. Yep, that's not it. A little bit more. It has to be that bowl shape to give it stability. Oh, come on. Get up there. Ah, so close, but still so far. Oh, here we have it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so after moving this here around a lot, I just left the bottom alone. This here happened. I mean, I, I was probably playing with this now for, I mean, almost 10 minutes off camera. Just to get this here to work. I knew it would work one way or another. It was just a matter of finding the right angle. And it's literally... So let's take a quick look so you guys can see how finicky it is. So it's right there. Right up there. If I take it and move it anywhere else, so we're now moving it along the outside of that same square where I was just in the middle of. If I move it right there, it doesn't work anymore. It's literally that finicky and it only works 
when you have the snap on grid off turned off and you just happen to put it into the exact right position and here we have it again actually a little bit nicer than i had it before so let's watch it one more time before i definitely and for good move on to the next level look at that made it only top 15 percent but to be quite honest with you i spent now 15 minutes on this level or even more like 20 yeah i'm not gonna mess with it any longer <laughs> that is that's good enough again i'm not gonna mess with it anymore it's not breaking it's on the budget we are in the green area level 2-05 rockin budget 28,000, and we have a bus we have a freaking bus okay let's bust it out um we need to go probably up to here and then on the other side back down to here that would be my bare basics assumption and then we have these here on the bottom i think the idea would be to build over the bottom instead of over the top so let's see we can do something like this here so actually let me build the triangles on the bottom all i'm gonna do is build build them right here on the left and on the right and then i will be back with you guys okay so i actually only wanted to build the triangles but i may or may not have slightly gotten caught up <laughs> into the game so yeah so what i built here or what i did here is let me explain it i used the shape tool from this point to this point to build this angle right here and from this point to that point to build that angle right there you can still kind of see right there that is of course not what i used i turned on the shape tool put it to that shape and told it to come from here to there and then i of course set it right to here kind of like this and then i just filled it all out with wood only problem is wood is nowhere near strong enough so i put a muscle into here to hold it up and i used steel wherever it broke so it broke here then here then here then there and then here <laughs> it also broke over here on the bottom so let's now run it and i'm going to run it at 100 percent speed well maybe not 100 but it is barely holding it it almost breaks right there and it almost breaks our road but we will make it over and actually in the top eight and this here is level six and i think level six that is a good stopping point let's do this one here see where we can get with that and i think that's when we're gonna call it a day so what exactly do i have to do here what in the hell truck boat and hydraulics and then reverse so i think we're going to go from here straight over to there yeah just like that something like that at least and then we're going to build our triangles this time i'm going to put them in and i'm not going to forget about letting you guys actually watch what i'm doing <laughs> Uh, what a mistake to make let's slap all those triangles in here let's make them nice and high and I didn't think we're just gonna put a piece of steel up here see if that holds it does and they grab this one so uh, apparently the order of how we get the stars doesn't matter to the stars that's good that means that on this side here we should just be able to go down here and then build and of course once again this here is free optimization proof of concept one could say i'm gonna put in our triangles here let's make them halfway normal at least like this here uh need the hydraulics though uh, probably here yeah might as well that holds no it doesn't why did it break at the very last second what the hell is that about that doesn't sound right so let's build it a little bit nicer kind of more like this here still not optimal but does it hold why are oh you are breaking of course you're breaking stupid me it's the hydraulics that breaks it <laughs> oh god And that's too far, 50%. What if we do 40%? That's better. And all we have to do now is to go straight over. And build a couple more triangles onto here. 
just like that and let's see what score we get for doing zero optimization whatsoever if this you hold which it does what's our score at we're at 35 percent but i think we can optimize quite a lot here so let's come down with this one here um well actually i think we don't need this brace here because we have our steel right there and do i need the steel that's the other question can is it close enough for us to build a muscle yes we can muscle it up all right and after a little bit trying around off camera this here is the best i could come up with at least with this design a completely different design may do us a little bit better but for what this here is that is it so let's watch it coming over holding up right there pretty nicely coming down here we get red here we're pretty red so on every one of them we are pretty red and we are in the top 11 percent so yeah that is all we got that's what it is and i think we did pretty well we completed six levels today and we have 10 more to go until we run out of glowing gorge levels but i think this is a pretty good moment to end this episode right here so if you enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and of course comment down below what are your ideas let me know i'm always interested you guys know it so with that i say thank you and peace